Hi everyone and welcome to the second episode of Dockers on Raspberry Pi. So in this episode we'll create our very first Docker image and for this what we'll do is we'll convert a Python code and we'll write a Docker file for it and then we'll use the Docker file to convert a Docker image. So here I have already created a simple main.py Python code. Let me just show you the content of this file. So you can see that we are simply printing a hello world after one second. So this is a very basic Python code. Now we need to create a Docker file. So for this let's create a Docker file. Now the first thing which you want to mention in a Docker file is the base image. Because we are using Python code so we probably want to use Python as our base image. So for this I'll use Python as my base image. Now the next step in the docker file is that you need to you need to add your python python code into the docker container so for this you want to use add and your python code so this part you have to mention where your file is located and here you want to uh, you want to enter the location where you want your main.py to be mounted inside the docker container Another thing is if you have any dependencies in your python code for example you have you have let's say you need to install any package so you can mention that package name here using the run command but we do not have any dependencies for the main.py after this command the last step is you need to mention the command which the docker will use to start your container so for this okay so this is the basic contents which you which you want to write inside a docker file to create a docker image now let's create the docker image for this use the command docker build minus t and here you need to write the name of the image you want to give so for example we want to use the name as a test image and now here you have to mention the path where your docker file is present but because our docker file is present in the current directory so we'll use simply the dot and hit enter so now it will start building the image so what first it will do is it will first pull our base image from the docker hub but because i have already downloaded the base image so it says already exist here you can see in the second step it added our main.py in the docker container and the last step is itself the command step. So our docker image is successfully created. Now let's see the size of our image. So here you can see that we have our test image which we have just created and the size of is size of the test image is 608 MB. This is the python image which we have used as our base image and its size is also 608 MB. This size is quite large but for this tutorial let's just not talk about how to reduce the uh, size of our docker image. So now it's time to start the container for our image and for this you can use the command docker run and the name of your image. So this will start the container but because we want to see the logs or the the output from our container so for this we will run the container in an interactive shell so okay so here you can see that our container is successfully running and it's showing the hello world uh, hello world string uh, and this seems to be perfectly fucking fine so let me just uh, open another session okay so let's do docker ps and here you can see that this is the container which we have just started this is the image and this is the command which the con container has used to start so this was basically all about how you can create your docker image and how you can start a container so thank you for watching this video please 
like share and subscribe and comment if you have any doubts regarding this